Hey guys, Captain Cross here. Today we are going to test and review the Deep Cool Z5 thermal paste. We will also show you how to remove the old thermal paste and apply the new one. Let's begin. <laughs> So here's the thermal paste in front of me, pretty minimalistic design as you can see and a little bit of information on the behind, instructions, ingredients and specific applications. Let's open up the box. You see it's really minimalistic design which I really like because there's not much heft. You just get the product and nothing really fancy like you get on those gamer tag things like motherboards so here is the features like high thermal conductivity low thermal resistance and electrically non-conductive which is a really good thing because we don't want it to short our motherboard now you can see in the it's the thermal paste it's in a syringe which is really great so we can apply it very easily I'll show you how it looks like so it's really just a paste silver colored paste and let me recap that so I would advise you not to use that on your finger you see it sticks on your fingers and it's really hard to get rid of but you can wash it off with some soap and water now you see it sticks like that and here are the ins uh, ingredients it's made up of silicon compound carbon compound and some other oxides here's the spatula you can use and here's my cpu here's my rig let's put the thermal paste aside we're going to need that later first we'll need to remove the cpu fan and here goes the spatula so this is the CPU fan, we will need to remove that, we will need to unscrew the four screws on the sides, let me turn on the flash. So we need to unscrew them and we will need to, to pull them up when we unscrew them. Now we need to pull them up since we have unscrewed all of them, pull it up and it should disconnect it from the motherboard see there is dried thermal paste all over it we need to put that aside and you see there is th dried thermal paste on the CPU which we need to wipe off I'll show you how now I will also advise you to remove the CPU 4 pin connector fan for the fan it's really better if you remove it it doesn't really matter because the rig is not powered so once we have removed it now the fan is in fan can be moved independently so we can put that aside now this is the anti-static band which are, we are going to use to save our rig from the static electricity from our hand we need to plug this somewhere on the ground but I am not in contact with the ground so I will plug it here it will work the same it will save the electrical components on the motherboard and near the hard drives from the static electricity so we need to clean that up with some isopropyl alcohol solution but Colin works very well too now we are going to need some paper towels but uh, cotton handkerchiefs work very well too now let's clean it up you see how much of it has come off now we need to reapply the solution and reclaim <laughs> 
see now it's all clean so we need to do the same with the CPU fan. We need to clean the dry thermal paste off of it. Oh, cleaned up and shiny. That's nice. Now we need to apply the new thermal paste, the deep cool Z5. We need to open it up and I'll show you how it looks like on the outside. See, uh, here I'm going to take out some, just a little bit. See, this is how it looks like a silver paste. Now we need to apply a P sized of thermal paste that's all that's needed we need to apply a p-sized thermal paste that's enough I suppose I'm going to leave that as it is now you can use the spatula to spread it all across but when you put the fan over it it will automatically spread across uh, all of it but now I just to show you how to do that I will use the spatula see this is how you can spread it all across the your CPU I'll show you Come on. so I'm just going to spread a little bit because I want it to be spread perfectly and I want to just add a little more because I think it's less but you don't need to add and just add as much as you want but not too much now we're going to uh, clip the fan on it's really easy we just need to do everything we did in reverse we're going to put the fan on align it and click back the screws push it back in and then scrim you see it should not be wobbly at all if it wobbles you need to take it off and reapply it because if it's wobbly there will be a dis distance between the CPU fan and the CPU that will increase the temperature now we will reconnect the CPU fan connector and rechecking if it's wobbly it's not it's sturdy and it's really good if it's sturdy now we can remove the anti-static band and you can close it up let's see how we got the temperatures and if you like the temp and like the video please like share and subscribe and also comment if you have questions so you can see I got temperature drops